Consider a scenario where TCP three-way handshake and the TCP uh, data is flowing through two different networking paths. Check out the visual representation for reference. Because of some uh, configuration on the uh, load balancer, the TCP three-way handshake is being diverted to firewall one and the subsequent TCP data traffic is uh, being forwarded to firewall two. And since uh, the TCP three-way handshake did not happen through firewall two, the data traffic is uh, getting dropped on firewall two. To overcome this situation, we are going to enable asymmetric routing for TCP on firewall two so that it can allow the traffic if even if the TCP three way handshake did not happen through that particular firewall, which is uh, firewall two. I have a simple network topology where client machine is a window machine with an IP 192.168.0.12 and the port 1 uh, which is the LAN interface on firewall 2 is configured with an IP 192.168.0.108 and port 2 is configured with an IP as you can see on screen 14.140.40.108 and the server that we will be testing with will have IP address of 14.140.40.190 so as you can see on my screen, I have a simple uh, policy to allow the traffic from that particular source to the destination. And I just have NAT enabled in that particular policy. So you can refer the diagram here for reference. This is the window machine with an IP of 192.168.0.12. We have enabled uh, Sniffer and Debug on the Firewall 2 and initially we will start with a normal SSH session which will have the TCP 3-way handshake and the subsequent SSH traffic through Firewall 2 and subsequently we will initiate the SSH traffic directly um, by skipping the TCP 3-way handshake through the Firewall 2 to check out the error messages and to understand the flow. You can check out the session details on the firewall where you can see the source uh, 192.168.0.12 towards destination 14.140.40.108. Sniffer also shows that the firewall is sending the traffic through port 2 to the uh, destination which is 14.140.40.190. And there's a source NAT going on so you will see the source as 14.140.40.108 on the destination which is a dot 190 and it is allowed by policy one so that is how you see the traffic for the TCP connection when it begins with TCP three-way handshake and subsequently the TCP data traffic which is the SSH data We have cleared the session on the firewall and now we will move on to the next test where we will try to craft the packet using a tool called Colasoft to uh, create the asymmetric scenario without a TCP three-way handshake happening through the firewall. We have loaded the previously captured uh, SSH data from the Wireshark and we are trying to initiate 
the uh, traffic directly from the source and it is going to be ACK, the third packet in TCP three-way handshake and we will uh, check out the uh, output on the firewall. So we have the diagnosis running on the firewall. Let's try to initiate ACK directly from the source and you can see on my uh, Wireshark capture. So let's try to initiate the packet. This is the ACK. and intention is just to create the asymmetric routing scenario so on the uh, debug you can see the data the traffic is getting dropped on the firewall stating no session matched so this is the error message that you will see on the firewall when you initiate a random tcp uh, data through the firewall sniffer also confirms that the packet was not sent to the server instead it was dropped on the firewall in the next test we will try to initiate the tcp data traffic which is the ssh packet directly from the source to check out the consequences on the firewall and in this case also you can see the same error no session matched and there is no sniffer data showing that the packet is sent out from port 2 to server so that means it was dropped on the firewall as per the debug uh, logs to overcome the situation we will try to configure an option called tcp session without sin on the firewall which is inside the system settings Let's try to generate some packet and let's try to see the error message now after configuring that particular command. As you can see on my screen, now you can see that the error message on the debug is denied by TCP send check. And again, the packet is getting dropped on the firewall, but the error message changed after configuring the TCP session without send option. Now, to uh, overcome this scenario, we will have to enable the uh, TCP session without sin inside the firewall policy in our case the policy ID is 1 so we will try to set the session without sin option and we are going to enable all for uh, the option which says without sin and as well as the TCP data so you can configure three options one is disable Another one is uh, enable TCP session without sin only for data. And the third option is all. So we have configured all which will allow any traffic of TCP sin packet that is sin ACK, ACK or TCP data to go through the firewall. So let's try to craft some packet and let's try to see the data. So as you can see in my debug log, the traffic is getting allowed and this is the sniffer uh, data which shows that traffic is being pushed by the firewall from port 2 to the destination so this was the ACK from the uh, from the source which is the third packet in the tcp three-way handshake now let's try to initiate some data traffic let's try to clear the session and try to initiate some data traffic without the TCP three-way handshake and as per the configuration this should be allowed as you can see on my screen the debug data shows that it is allowed by policy because of the TCP session without sin all configuration on the firewall and uh, you can see the subsequent uh, logs for sniffer which shows that the data is sent from port 2 to the actual server and that proves that the configuration that we have for asymmetric routing for tcp based applications specifically is working fine that's all in this video please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button see you in the next video